Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to make sure you know all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on all new episodes of Wade's World, Boob Windows and Long Foxes, our hard R movie reviews, and so much more, all completely uncensored. Access starts for as little as $1 a month, full videos when you pledge $3 a month. Check us out at the link in all of our show notes, or just go straight to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrot, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks podcast. Hey, what about our Comic Capers podcast? Oh my. Well, we're. Uh, no, Ray's not here this time, remember? Ray was here last time. That's right, kids. In fact, in the other Comic Capers, this one hot off the presses. We're recording. Gonna, gonna hit the podcast tomorrow morning. Because that's right, we're talking a new release, King Spawn number one. I am Phil, and another creature of the darkness besides Spawn, it is. Hey, y'all, uh, it's old lady Lil Hellfire. <laughs> Get off my lawn. So, yes, like I said, recording this, getting it right up. <laughs> uh, yeah, <'cause laughs> this King... isn't Patreon, Philip. <laughs> I didn't say what was up. Come on. Uh, so yes, King Spawn came out today. We're here this on the um, podcast yesterday. I just want to say I think the big two should be worried. This is the best selling comic book issue in twenty five years with four hundred ninety seven thousand copies sold. Wow. I've been telling you guys that the comic book, well, specifically the American direct market, has been in trouble for a while. And if this doesn't tell you that in twenty five years this is the best sell. With all, not even 500,000, not even half a million. Manga's doing fine, but American direct sales comic books are doing bad, bro. <laughs> They're doing bad. I mean, I've been, imp- I mean, I've been pr- happy with Spawn the last, you know, the last couple months, and I was like, okay, King Spawn, is this going to be another well, money when we grab? Three hundred. Well, we kind of yeah. talked about this about how obviously they're trying to expand the universe, more toys, more merch, make it more commercial, mainstream for the movie, probably get another cartoon. I mean, you know, McFarlane's getting on in years, and I think he definitely wants to. You know, yes, he has image, but Spawn is his baby, and I think he feel, and I feel like the the character of Spawn has kind of been cheated as well in the mainstream. And this is his like final big push, and what a perfect time with the big two in such disarray. Yeah, but yeah, I was very impressed with this issue. I was, I remember reading well, they this. Brought everybody Ooh. back, you know. Mm-hmm. The art is amazing. It's a detective oh, yeah. story. It's a supernatural crime thriller. It has hints of noir, so it's like it's got something for everybody. It's got the jokes like Spider-Man. It's got the detective skills like Batman. You know, a big, a big, large family, an overarching story, kind of like Batman. Just saying. And <laughs> they I mean, bring back a classic villain for the OGs, yeah. but I also feel like this is a great, like, if you don't know anything about Spawn, you can read this book and be perfectly fine. And I mean, again, this was this was oversized. So it was like a five ninety nine book, but I mean, Marvel Worth with DC, penny. yeah, Marvel it with been DC, eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine book. Easy. Yeah, or it wouldn't have been this thing. Yeah, no. But also, it has seven covers, so I think that has a lot to do with it too. Which oh, I got oh, all seven true. from eBay for a really good price, actually, surprisingly. Um. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the big two are doing all you know varying covers like this, and they're still not well, getting they're, they're milking the numbers. They're they're beating the last of those dead you know dead horses with their fans. That you know the big two have been in trouble since pre pandemic. You know, and the pandemic has really shown a light where people are jumping ship, trying. You know, there's more kickstarters, there's more yeah. pushes for places like Substack, other indie books. You know, and I mean, they're really gonna be in trouble. Like if he, I mean. Spoilers at the end of this. I mean, Gunslinger spawns coming. What's that other book? Uh, oh, let the toys hit. Or, let the toys hit. <laughs> yeah, but I was gonna say too. It's like with just like with the regular Spawn series. If those are all two ninety nine, I mean, that's another hit to the the big two. You telling me in my pocketbook, bro? <laughs> if you're if you're like, hey, I got a book with a uh, good story, good art, then it's like, hey, it's at least a dollar less than uh, yeah, all the big two stuff. At least it's like. Yeah, I'm waiting on my Spawn merch, though, seriously. Like, I have very little Spawn merch. Most of it are toys. McFarland toys, go figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm interested in the push for Spawn, for sure, as, as I've been a fan since probably before I shouldn't have been reading Spawn. It's fine. Yeah, I got it. I got into it around the movie, the, that original movie, yeah. 
So. But I mean, I mean, I used to have a T-shirt or two, but it, yeah, it seems like besides toys, they haven't had a lot of merch. So hopefully, he changes that once that movie hits, if not before. Yeah, like I said, this is. I feel like this is his push. He saw that the iron, you know, this was a time to strike while the iron was hot, and I, I yeah. really think a big push for Spawn is what the industry needs right now. Image was what the industry needed back in the early '90s, and Spawn coming back thirty years later to shake things up again. It's kind of fitting and apropos to me. I really enjoyed this story. It sucked me right in. <laughs> well, but, and two, it's like, unlike the big two, who are, it's like, change is never permanent. Everyone always gets reset to the status quo. Spawn never gets reset. I mean, I mean, look where we've come in the last 30 years. I mean, his whole thing was Wanda how many years ago. Now she's gone. You know, she's dead. And basic, her and her whole family are basically. Out of- it's Uncle Ben. <laughs> you know? Like, Uncle Ben. Batman's mom and dad. That's it. Everything else is fair game, baby. <laughs> Robot sisters, clones. Ugh. Right. Just, I ugh. mean, I mean, yeah. Look, it's just like, uh, you know, except for one or two, uh, you know, except for like Sam and Twitch. The only pe- people in this book, you know, in the beginning were, sp- you know, that are still here, like Spawn, Sam, Twitch. That's about it. And they kind of had to ground that. I think that was definitely for the yeah. OG fans. Do you think we're gonna get another Sam and Twitch book? It'll probably be a limited series. I I just I just don't feel like that's a, like an ongoing. Or they might have backup stories in this one. Who knows? Because this spun out of Spawn universe, so you know it's all more unless of they, the same. <laughs> unless they come work for him or something. Yeah, exactly. But no, I mean, I, I'm impressed. That's all that I can say. Oh yeah. I, I said, I'm like, oh, you know, I was expecting. I'm like, oh, this might be some kind of cash grab. Even no, I liked it. Like, three, let's be honest. 300 was good, but it was a straight up, like, let's just get it the 300 cash grab kind of story. Well, and it's setting up the whole that. Oh, here, Everything, all these spawns yeah. are coming. Yeah, toys. But and eventually, no, this, like, what was that, two years ago? <laughs> yeah, but I forget. Was that all Todd McFarlane, too? Because, I mean, there, you know, there was a... Uh, was that Sean Lewis on this one? Uh, so yeah, all the fa- all the fan favorites are back. Whether it's from art yeah. or writing perspective, I really enjoyed that. It's it's a really big homage, and it was just a pleasure. This is like a this is almost like you know, like as big as the deal as three hundred is. I think this one is like you you better go grab it. They're gonna be sold out and selling for forty bucks on eBay by Friday. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so I know. So I know, I know you don't always do this, but I know you said you went to the store to pick up a physical copy. So which uh, cover did you get? I got the main cover, and it's already put up. It's already been scanned in and put up. So <laughs> no creases, no nothing. I'm not taking chances. Nice. I got, that. I got, the... I got cover A, though. Oh, I got the David Finch cover. Oh, nice. Like I said, all my other ones, I, I ordered the whole complete seven set. From eBay. Oh, so that's did gonna be, oh. Yeah. So that's gonna what like. So once we get merch, I'm gonna have a little spawn display and put it next to like the spawn number one, spawn black and white, spawn 300, all the big ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If there was any other one I would have got, it was probably the Greg Capula. Yes. They're all very nice though, but um. I mean, this this is the thing about Spawn, though. I like horror, and I like action, and this is, like, the perfect... Spawn has always been that perfect combination, and never more so than in this issue. I really enjoyed how everything was well-paced. Um, the fight scenes were amazing. Uh, it's like we get a little bit of dialogue, but just enough dialogue. Like, not too little and not too much. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. And, like, that main story, like, I was, in like, very interesting, because, like, in the beginning... Like, you kind of know, yeah, it's going to be heaven or heaven and hell or heaven or hell. But it's like, for a split second, I had the slightest doubt. I'm like, wait a minute, is Spawn maybe paranoid? Could this for once just be like human, you know, human SOBs? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I heard we're going to get there eventually. So, Oh, really? Yeah, that's kinda, yeah I heard that's kind of what this is about. It's not just heaven and hell. Earth, Earth, Earthlings are definitely getting in on it. <laughs> nice. So that's going to nice. be interesting to see, too. Oh, yeah. A nice way to mix it up. And then just... We get we get gore, too. <laughs> yeah. That kind of grouped that into the horror. Yeah. <laughs> but... The, oh, no, that's funny. I was, I'm always like, oh, so timely, you know, the talking heads. But it's like... McFarlane's been doing that since day one. So it's, you know, it's kind of sad. It's like... <laughs> 
Oh, it's yeah, old that's style. That's a trend that never died. <laughs> not since the what? Not since They've only gotten worse, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I Looking mean, the news you, like... uh... Fucker Tarlson. <laughs> <laughs> Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> Can't call it Fox News, that's for sure. <laughs> ah! But, yeah, I mean, it's... And then we get the, the a mystery at the end. Who who's all hailing King Spawn? Us. Let's just be honest. <laughs> is, is that a naked guy in a chair? What? <laughs> that that tracks. To be honest. if you know the demographic, that tracks. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, the demographic. You so we're saying you. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. I'm here for Peter. And don't forget Dick. Hey, Grayson, that is, in case Rob's listening for some random reason. I feel like you said, like, all the art in all these is excellent, um, especially like that graveyard scenes and stuff. Yeah, I will say it feels a little too slick and polished. That's like my only like kind of like gripe, but I get it. You have to like grow as an artist and stuff like that and to make it more mainstream appeal. But I do miss the like rough around the edges quality that Old Spawn used to have. Yeah, but you want to put your A game forward, at least on this, you know, to get yeah, people absolutely. back. Especially when you're like, hey, come back for a new gunslinger spawn and come back for the Scorched and come back for this. and Yeah, I I can't believe that, like there was like other people that were like really excited. Like three hundred did really good, but not this good. Mm-hmm. So like I don't know what it. I think people are really tired of the big two. Is what it boils down to. And they've been waiting for like a, 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 a like a like a, a big you know like a big break. Like oh we know who Spawn is. Had a movie. Had a cartoon. We got play you know toys stuff like that. Something to jump behind. Hey, but I think it's like a perfect storm. <laughs> I think it's a perfect storm too, because like you said, there's people sick of the big two, and it's like there are fans who have stuck with Spawn, and also, yeah, there's people looking for something new. And then I think anytime you throw out any news about it, like a movie or like a movie's coming or something, there's always going to be that group or like, especially hmm, with what? Jamie Fox still attached. I mean, he has a mm-hmm. pretty good reputation right now still. So yeah, there's also there's always going to be people when you announce a movie who are going to be like, oh, maybe I should jump back into Spawn, or hey, maybe I should check out Spawn for the first time. Definitely. Because I mean, I mean, McFarland's always like re like collecting like all the back issues and trades, right? Yeah, that that's his thing. He know, he yeah. knows where his bread is butter, and I appreciate that. Hey, I mean, look at the he Walking Dead. He doesn't shy away from it. He doesn't. Look, look at the Walking Dead. I mean, that that's very pot. That was a very lucrative for them. They you know make omnibuses and trades and just to keep pumping those out. Hey, hey, I mean that. I mean those things probably still sell. And that comic ended what like two years ago. <laughs> Yeah, they're still on on the like shelf on display in my two comic book shops, so prominently. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because the TV show's still on, and then they have two other spinoffs and stuff like that. So I get it. Yeah, and weren't they reprinting? But Image is a really good company, inside and out. The titles that they have, and then their business model. It's very oh, yeah. clear to the writers and the artists. Um, you can always depend on them. <laughs> I, you know, I've never heard anybody like, oh, my image books didn't come in this week or they're late. Like, I'm just saying, not for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard that. Yeah. No. But I mean, and two, it seems like, you know, love or hate a story, a particular story. It seems like the writers do what they want to do. And it's not like, you know, it doesn't, nothing seems like mandated by the company or anything or change with this like i said it is definitely a feeling of hey we want to go more mainstream we want to be more like pg-13 which is fine i'm okay with that yeah but i think if anyone's gonna mandate anything on spawn it's gonna be mcfarland don't you think well yeah obviously (laughs) and he does get a little weird from time to time (laughs) he's very essential we've we've all gone through those phases with spawn if you've been around long enough if you know you know but again i get i'm gonna get tired of this But then I give that a little more leeway too, because it's not a company; it's actually the guy who created it. Yeah. It's his baby, so. But you also need 
that balance of a second opinion yeah. sometimes. And he does have a very good like board of people around him, I will say. So Yeah. And I, I mean honestly I'm expecting Jim Lee to just be full time there, like any any day now. <laughs> Oh, you don't think you don't think Disney or Marvel's going to try to snatch him up or anything? I think he's tired of it. I mean, oh, he's okay. Seen the bloodbaths his last like 16, 18 months at this point, and I think you know, images are like I said, it's a really good company to work for. I mean, all his friends are there basically. I mean, <laughs> so, and do, it's and do you of think a natural it, move? I mean, with this spawn thing, do you think <laughs> if Jim Lee came to Image and was like, "Hey, I'm re- I'm, I'm a." rebooting and resurrect <laughs> resurrecting all my old comic stuff or hey i'm doing something new i mean yeah i don't see him doing the subset thing i think i see him coming back to image if and when really at this point it's when because he does have a really high salary at&t is just absolutely yeah. massacring all the higher executives at this point he's the last one at this point him and walter hamada and well walter hamada has family yeah. nepotism going for him so <laughs> just saying and and Jim Lee, like he could sell like at least five hundred thousand books a month, just not even writing, just, just be Jim like, hey, Lee alone, like just the well, name, yeah, his reputation. Well, no, just just saying, hey, I'm going to be drawing a monthly book written by whoever, you know, just Jim Lee art would draw people in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, look what it did for the X Men. Hell, thank you for the rogue. <laughs> thank you for the Psylocke. <laughs> Yeah, Silac can suck it. <laughs> what? Silac was too try hard, but thank you for the rogue. <laughs> thank you, actually, thank you for the gene and the storm of the time. Now that I think about it. Yeah, thank Ooh, you for and Emma Frost with the yeah. Thank you for Ooh. every ex- female X character you drew, Jim Lee. By the way, I was thinking because you know I love me some rogue. We could do like top, um, top like uh, uh uniforms of like the ladies. Okay. Because Rogue has had like 20 of them. So, <laughs> you know, for uh, long boxes and boob windows, obviously. Okay. I mean, we're looking I for. Probably she's never had a boob box, though. Uh, a boob window, though. Who, Rogue? Yeah. I mean. Wait, no, um... unless you count Savage, the Savage Land saga. <laughs> hey, oh. I mean, do you want to do that for September? We're lo- we were talking about doing a boob windows. I mean, do you want to do that? I am down for that, and that's definitely something you guys should do. Well, I was just, I was just going, I was just mentally going down the list we talked about before, like Power Girl, or you know, the the many, many, many lovers of Matt Murdock. So no, I mean, if you want to do the X Women, no, let's do that. Top X Women costumes. <laughs> oh my God, you should. You people need to watch the YouTube and just look at the look on Little Hellfire's face when I said, "Do you want to do the X Women?" You're like, of course, who doesn't? <laughs> Um, but back to Spawn, like, I, I, I just, I'm so excited. Like, I haven't been excited about a comic in a really long time. <laughs> that's Agreed. so sad to say. Like, like actually, like, excited, like, ooh, let me put this on my pool list, ooh. And like I said, I got more excited actually reading it than, like, oh, it's, it, I heard it was coming. It was actually yeah. good. It wasn't just hype. Because you know how that oh, goes yeah. sometimes. Looking at, sin- nope. looking at you, Sinister War. And then we actually got some like uh, backups that you know that weren't bad. It's like <laughs> we're bringing back the haunt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he's gonna be like, "Hey, vote for which one you want." To. <laughs> hey, kids. I, I was gonna say because it didn't say anything about him getting his own book, so is he just gonna start showing up in Spawn maybe or one of the books? Yeah, they're definitely testing the waters and throwing everything to the wall to see what sticks and that that's smart before like really making like a commitment commitment I feel like yeah and but, then we like, go Image does have that flexible model so you know they, they can move pretty fast with the decision so I'm not worried about it yeah and then we got what called nightmare that evil spawn thing or whatever redundant but okay you know evil double gangers you know come on one spawn to be a superhero we need it we need one gotta have the gotta have the mirror universe oh and wait Star Trek oh, wait. Has taught us nothing we need a mirror universe wait wait a a uh, evil double of yourself with giant teeth and uh who's like threatening to eat people hmm what how original you know. <laughs> 
something for everyone. <laughs> hey, once again, that movie's coming out, well, someday, so. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> I just you... want my Morbius, okay? <laughs> like, I don't care about anything else but Morbius. So, well, I want... said, don't judge me. I wonder if they push Venom back again to 2022. Is that going to push Morbius back even further? Of course. It's like, at that point, just don't put it out. Because, I mean, spoilers, it's Morbius. I feel like Disney's beating Sony to the Sinister Six, unfortunately. So, yeah. Morb- at that point, Mor- you don't need Morbius because that was the whole end just, credit just- thing. It's like, so everybody knows everything about Morbius. All you have to do is look. So it's just like, do you need to put it out? Just pull the new mutants and stream it. Come on. I don't think I don't think Jared Leto would go for that. His agent is uh, tough as nails. That oh, is- really? Yeah, he has a very good agent. Oh, that's the crossover we need. Spawn and Morbius. <laughs> or or uh, Spawn just rips his head off and sends him back to hell. I'm okay with that. Oh, my. No, no, no. I'm not an agent of hell. I'm a living vampire. <laughs> nah, I don't believe you. Snap! <laughs> Perfect. Chef's kiss. <laughs> But I'm so interested in all the other books that are going to be, like, within this universe. Oh, yeah. I mean, Gunslingers. Gunslingers getting his own number one in October. That's right around the corner. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I wonder if that was intentional for, like, a Halloween or just... How Cookies Crumble got to get it in the last quarter. You got to get all your money in that last quarter. Well, and then the and it's a the scorched number one on sale in December. Like I said, you got to get all your money well, in the last two new, quarter. <laughs> two new books in the last quarter, beginning and end of the quarter. He's a businessman. Get done yeah, like, your I'm so glad everybody's excited. Like I, I'm just. It was such a breath of fresh air to read this book. To be honest. Oh yeah. Like I said, I again, like 300 was good, kind of, like we said, kind of like a little, but hey. it had look. set this up, and 300 was so long ago that I was like, what the hell's taking so long? We were promised a Spawn family. <laughs> I mean, he's ta- he, I mean, you have to give it to him. I mean, he took his time. I, I think he's, it's been building and getting better and better as the, as we've gone from 300 to here. Yeah, absolutely. But it was, it was like, okay, you promised us, buddy. You know, and again, though, not gonna lie. and for a while, he just did once a month, and we did get Spawn Universe, but it, you know, you know, it's not Marvel. It's like we're gonna put Spawn out three times a month, and yeah, honestly, I think that's another factor. Like, we're not sick of Spawn. We haven't had a billion crossovers in the last five years of Spawn and stuff. So, I mean, since issue one, it's been like, yep, one a month. You know, every so often there might be a side title, but it's like you really don't have to pick it up and. Don't you miss those days? Mm-hmm. Modern comics could never. I'm just I remember waiting. What... It's like he's gonna he's gonna sucker us in, lull us into a false sense of security, and then bam, event fatigue. I just feel it in my bones. I remember even in 1997 when I started collecting Spawn, I was shocked, and I'm like, I picked up what was it like Hell Spawn or something, and I'm just like, wait a minute, this has nothing to do with the main title. Um, like no crossovers, what? I mean, it was fine, but I was just in shock, for, you know, from being a Marvel and DC. We're, we're so like, conditioned. We're just like... I know. <laughs> How do they expect to sell a second book if it doesn't cross over with the first? Yeah. I, I don't know, though. I feel like as they push to be more mainstream that you can probably expect a few crossovers and a few, like, event-type things. And I'm okay with that as long as they do it sparingly. Like, you have to learn your mistakes from your competitors, you know what I mean? Yes. And I think he yeah. has been studying, and I mean, he did it. <laughs> and how do you feel? Now? Uh, and how do you feel about the story about Gunslinger, where it's like it's not him getting revenge for himself; it's like it was his sister. But it's like you know she was killed a hundred some years ago, but he got thrown into the future. So it's like I gotta go back in time. Everybody has to have that one guy that can go back in time. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's the formula, so I'm not even mad at it. And I'm interested, and I hope that they mm-hmm. do 
that whole thing a little bit better. I hope he's not making sweet, sweet love to the timeline all the time, you know. Well, I don't like think that. he can time travel, but that's the thing. He needs Just to you move. wait. <laughs> Somebody's going to put their uh, their peen in the in the time stream. Whoa. <laughs> I will... That's just how it goes. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad if, you know, hoping that his next leap would be the leap home. I wouldn't even care. Hello. <laughs> Nobody tells Scott back. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, can you imagine just like a spawn traveling through time? That would be fun. I feel like we kind of tinkered with that a billion years ago, like back in the early 2000s. What was that book? I don't know. Well, like, what was it? There, there was a, wasn't there a story just, uh, was it right before, right after 300 where spawn traveled into the future and then came back yeah, real quick? That's, and maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. yeah. They were getting us ready. See, it was subliminal. Yeah. But yeah, Gunslinger seems cool. Help. I don't know. Like, I, I'm just interested to see what they do with this. Like, I, I'm hyped. I hope they don't let me down. But then again, nobody can let me down like the big two. So. Yeah. <laughs> and for a penny and for a pound at this point. So is this easily the winner of the week? I mean, just numbers oh, wise. Absolutely. Well, numbers wise, yes. Story quality wise, so far for me. But I'm only halfway through my list but yeah. yeah i think this was the best book of the week period <laughs> and if you kids like the devil yes go read amazing spider-man this week uh big mephisto revelation i swear if they do that in the movie i'm i'm gonna run oh you read it you read it yeah it was like the third book i read <laughs> uh, uh. you know i have to i have to cushion it because i just I just felt it in my bones that I was going to be very upset. <laughs> you know, fist on the table, just mm, mad. It's getting so ridiculous. Will Hellfire is even just going to be relieved when Ben Riley shows up. And that, you know that's you know it's bad when she's going to be relieved when can Ben Riley shows up. Can he just snap Doctor Strange's neck? That is all that I ask. He will literally <laughs> be my favorite. I will come on Scarlet Spider and be like, oh. I love Ben Riley. I mean it this time. <laughs> Sorcerer Supreme, all hail Ben <laughs> And then we never see him again. <laughs> we never see Doctor Strange again. I'm okay with that. And you know we could have our cake and eat it too because Peter's with Mary Jane. I mean, Ben can get with Felicia. You know, we, we can have our cake and eat it too. Well, they can, he, he can be in a throuble with uh, Felicia and Flash. <laughs> Isn't Flash busy being, busy being all symbiote? Symbiotes need love too. <laughs> I know it's more fun. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> oh God, it's so great to be happy about a book. Mm -hmm. So if you kids haven't picked it up, obviously I think you can tell that you should probably just give it a try. Definitely, and I mean, See if you like it. I mean, it's the nature of the business. There will probably be a little drop off, but do you think they can keep most of their numbers going forward? Um, I expect it to be a two hundred fifty thousand book. Yeah. I mean, if they can get it to three, they're still doing better than the big two. I bet you they get another big bump though, too, with Gunslinger number one. I don't know about Scourge, like, <laughs> but definitely Gunslinger. <laughs> First year with Scourge, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get more or less variants than uh, for, for Gunslinger than we got for King Spawn. I think we're probably only going to have about four for Gunslinger. That's oh, really? Prediction. This was like a big like push, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And they, they just... this was like all hands on deck. All the all the variant art were like, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, just... it's, it's, it's basically the roadmap going forward. It's like, here's what Al Simmons is going to be doing. Here's what Gunslinger is going to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm here for them building out the universe. I've I've always enjoyed the universe. I just hope that they don't I don't know retcon anything too seriously. Yeah, because yeah. I know a lot of it was OG fans that picked up the book and came out and supported. So yeah, but like I said, this, this is a perfect book to just pick up if you're new to Spawn. Just I mean, you'll probably get curious and want to pick up like back issues and stuff. But I think you're perfectly fine if this is your first Spawn book. Yeah, or I mean, if you go back, I mean, you really don't gonna go past like what three hundred. 
Yeah, you really don't have to go past 300. That's the yeah. nice thing about 300. It did a few things. That's the thing. Spawn cycles like every couple years. Yeah. Yeah. It's an A plus for me. Like I don't know what else to say. Oh yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I was just, I was so impressed by the art. I love how they just called everybody back. It was like all hands on deck. Very nostalgic, but also very refreshing. Felt very modern at the same time. And again, we're talking about the environment that like images. Brian Hicks could never. <laughs> I mean, everybody just, you know, it must be. You know, McFarlane must be okay to work for because everyone seems to always come back. Like, Greg Capullo, man, if Todd and asked him to draw something, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm coming back to draw Spawn. Like I said, like, when he set out um, and founded Image and stuff with uh, all his friends, they were all friends at that point. Oh, yeah. Um, And they've all still, nobody's really had a falling out, so... But yeah, yeah, but again, yeah, that'd be big if uh, Jim Lee comes back because I mean, McFarland's That's there. That's a prediction because uh, working at AT and T slash WB Discover, whatever the hell they're calling themselves now, it's a mess. And it's I mean, not st stability. I mean, you have a point. I mean, I was gonna say, oh, he'd go to Marvel, but it's like, yeah, maybe he doesn't want the big corporation again. So yeah, the image would probably be the next. Well, Marvel, Disney so. is a whole other beast to work with right now as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, y'all will probably hear about that come January, probably, what's happening right now. Because they're what? a little, you know, they're a little more uh, tight. Like, they they don't have, like, a bunch of leaks and stuff at Disney for the most part. I say that as the trailer leaked. But, yeah, like, so, yeah, I think probably around January you'll hear what's going on right now in the yeah, but Yeah, but Spider-Man, that was, like, on the Sony end, probably. <laughs> I mean, it was the anniversary of their little spat. I'm just saying. <clears throat> when you think about it, <laughs> like, ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. They came for the pumpkin bombs. Sorry, Tom. It's true. <laughs> just, but Andrew L Garfield, don't get happy. Ain't nobody really happy to have you in the in the movie. Just is he in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We came for the Alfred Molina. We came for the pumpkin ball. We exactly. I told the boys last night if we if we get uh if we get Green Goblin, man, get rid of that helmet. You better give me a rubber mask. Come on. I don't know. Come on, I want the phone of rubber mask. Come on. I agree. Practical effects. <laughs> oh God, I cannot wait until Friday. So many good books to talk about. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, pick it up. It's an A+. Plus. You know, I hate everything. So when I give something an A+, plus, just, just go out and buy it. That's right, kids. You know, you know, like the variant right. covers will be a good investment if you can find them cheap enough on eBay. Do it before Friday because that's when they jack up the prices. I'm yeah. Just, just trying to be friendly and helpful. Yeah. You know, sometimes me and Ray are kind. No, Lil Hellfire, she gives it an A, a or A+. Plus. She means it. Yeah. Definitely. She would poop all over this if she felt felt that way, but nope. So, and again, oh God, do, do not ask me until they have a, another cartoon. I am not gonna do a weekly spawn, but do not get happy, Philip. What? <laughs> no weekly spawn podcast until the cartoon comes out. <laughs> no, I told you just on Comic Capers when there's maybe when there's like a third a Thursday, you know, when there's a third comic capers of the month maybe we'll do some you know we'll check it okay yeah that's hard. cool because yeah. i i don't know like i in my old age i don't know that i can commit honestly this could all know. be a fugazi <laughs> we're, we're 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 gonna we're gonna stick i think right now with our what our flash and x-men uh yes. pattern jubilee. yeah jubilee we already think jubilee <laughs> i know it's storm it's storm now <laughs> i know I'm giving you your redhead in January. What more do you want? I want it all. <laughs> but on that note, do the kids have homework? Yes, I'm pulling it up now. And like I said, this will hit the podcast tomorrow. So yeah, kids, if you want to hear about the, the Spider-Man uh, No Way Home trailer and the rest of this week's comics, go check out uh, tomorrow. Go check out Capes and Lunatics episode 224. So And Super Connectivity. Already? What? 224 already? 250 That's right. around the corner at this point. I know. We'll find out, figure out something uh, major to do. 
Uh, all right, so we'll be traveling. We know that much. <laughs> all right, kids. So next week you will hear. Uh, we already did this. Well, Daredevil two seventy one through two seventy four. It's a killer. Be sure to tune in. Remember, all you vegans, tune in. Uh, next, so in two weeks, in Comic Capers, speaking of X-Men, yes, we be starting our Storm uh, coverage with Giant Size. All right, first week, Lil Hellfire's picks. Giant Sized X-Men, number one, Uncanny <laughs> X-Men 159, and Uncanny X-Men Annual, number six. So all bangers. So do your homework and send in feedback. <laughs> That's right, kids, so. Just a, just, a, just a hint. They'll suck and not suck at the same time. I don't think those are tentacles. hey <laughs> That's what everyone said watching that Far From Home trail. <laughs> For no way home trailer. All right, kids. So, yes. Yeah, so, send your thoughts. Uh, what do you think of the current uh, state of Spawn? Did you love King Spawn as much as, number one, as much as we did? Uh, send your thoughts on the upcoming... Uh, x-men stuff and uh oh hey in september we'll be talking to our good friend mr dg chichester about electra root of evil miniseries so send your thoughts Can't on wait. those too he did he has he confirmed a date so yes it's coming kids so send your thoughts on all of that or if you want to tell charlie us or to put on a shirt email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com or call the only the patrons would get that joke Phil. oh that's true you should sign up for the Patreon, especially when we talk about the X Women coming up here in September. Uncensored. <laughs> you know we're going to be talking some Jim Lee there. All right, kids. So yes, Capes and Lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38 Capes. And remember, you can follow Comic Capers on Facebook, on Twitter. Oh, hey, we also have uh, our uh, we have fan groups for. <laughs> Pretty much all the shows but you can also we never give this one any love uh go join our facebook group Ex xavier's uh fan group uh xavier's institute for gifted fans or something i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> no even phil doesn't know that's bad <laughs> no hold on i'm pulling it up because we never talk about it we're trying to keep it oh, current about a spider-man beating moon knight that's all we hear about Oh, uh, oh you yeah, I was going to say you mis mispronounced Batman. <laughs> yes, no, go please join the Facebook fan group, Xavier's Group for Gifted X-Men Fans. Boom! And also our brand newest, newest uh, Facebook fan group, uh, Ben Rally Beyond. Which little hellfire Ew. will be... Which, which little you? hellfire... Which little hellfire will be queen of... Send me the link again. I was like, who the hell's inviting me to Ben Rally? It had to be me or Ray. Come on. <laughs> like, what kind of April Fool is this? Well, and Lil Hellfire is going to be the queen of that group once he snaps Doctor Strange's neck. So, yes, find links to all of those and all our social media. Links to this YouTube channel. Watch Lil Hellfire roll her eyes every time I say Ben Rally. <laughs> links to the Patreon that we mentioned. Links to uh, merch. Stay hydrated. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. All in one place. That's Linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash Capes and Lunatics. And please remember support all things Southgate Media Group. Go to SouthgateMediaGroup.com. Uh, please go subscribe to the Southgate Media Group YouTube channel and the Patreon for a bunch of free and paid content. And please, oh, wait, hold up, Little Hellfire, and uh, check the social media for the for the Kickstarter link because the Southgate Media Group Marathon number six is coming. Not to be uh, confused with 69 one day. Oh, hell. And sponsors are already signing up. So, uh, yes, sign up and you can have your name plastered all over the marathon. Fun. And you're going to see our team all over that. So, yes, go check out all things Southgate Media Group. And, of course, you can always support by uh, picking up Pod Life, the book, now in digital and paperback. And, of course, now you can give them the finger a little uh when you get that, use the link. When you go on Amazon, use the link right down there in the show notes. That's right. Give it the finger. Help us support this show, the network, and in that the man. Hell spot himself. <laughs> that man who heaven, neither heaven nor hell wants Rob Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain. 
So says Master Do. Your weak sauce. I get so much right. And you will find out I am right so much more often than I'm wrong. Mark my words. Well, maybe I Mark them! <laughs> um, if you guys want to hang out with me on the internet, uh, you can find me uh, Tuesday nights live tweeting uh, Stargirl when I remember when I don't fall asleep uh, over at Lil Hellfire on Twitter, on Instagram, at Lil Hellfire 69 and of course, making comments, not content, unless it's Star Trek related, uh, at Lil Hellfire 69 That's right. Slide into her social media. Pull yourself up and slip into it. Don't forget the out Hey <laughs> What a waste of butter. Oh, what a waste of butter. No, no, we're saving the butter. <laughs> hey Hello, Megan. Nobody tell Rob. <laughs> I know. We went the whole episode without doing that. Nobody oh. tell Rob. <laughs> I just wait. He's just waiting for him one day to just pop in and be like, I know. You don't even say it. I know. I give up. <laughs> All right, kids. Till we're canceled by Robert Southgate. Join us next week. Again, in one week, Daredevil 271 to 274. And then in two weeks, Giant Size X Men number one. Uncanny X Men 159. Hey, oh, the Giant Size X Men. <laughs> Until then. Stay safe. Hellfire.